So we know it's the 19th of May, 2022. The new bypass for the Haddigan roundabout is open. That's where we are. It's just been recently opened. But there's still signs erected saying that to expect delays when the bypass is free flowing. This is alongside Hose Road. Leafy green canopies. Steps leading down to a stream, a quaint stream. Quaint stream. A quaint stream. A bird just flew into the tree. I was shooting video in that direction, but had I zoomed far enough in, I saw the bird, but I couldn't see it through the viewfinder. Even though there's a screen, the bird is actually on a lower branch. A branch that's above the water. Quaint stream, running water, flowing through the Aberdeen countryside. This is Hoes Road. It leads to the Bucksburn Valley Paths. To get from Hoes Road, which is actually low down, it's low lying, connects, it runs past Bucksburn Police Station and comes from Ockmill Road. Just to be clear, it connects Yes, it leads round to Spring Hill Road, not Springfield Road, which runs past Craigie Buckler Church. There's two different roads. Spring Hill Road leads to Provost Fraser Drive, which runs to Northfield Academy. Spring, that's Spring Hill Road. Spring Hill Road leads to Provost Fraser Drive and Northfield Academy. That's where Hose Road does also lead, through the countryside, the Aberdeen countryside, past Orchard Bray Special Needs School and also Heathley Burn School. Heathley Burn School where there's a sort of a pitch with enclosed fenced off. That's where this is. This is alongside Hose Road. You need to tell people where you are for greater clarity so they can go and explore. The issue with newsworthy content, quite a lot of it, is free. Take The Guardian, for example. That's free. There's quite a lot of free news. That's an issue. But just writing is not the same as video, which really shows people. But still, there's an issue. An, is an issue with people believing when the video was captured. There's still an issue around trust. Because old videos and photos can come to the fore during conflicts. Just look back. Look back at the bridge. 
the bridge, the stream. It's a metal bridge. Is that more durable? I mean, the fourth rail bridge was that really large steel structure. It's an iconic landmark in Scotland. Steel bridges do last the test of time. This does connect to the Buxburn Valley paths, which do actually lead to King's Wells. It's one way to King's Wells and West Hill. One way. The other way is along the old Langstrath, or through King's Wells, past the Four Mile, the Four Mile restaurant. Nice year today, 19th of May, 2022, around the time the Haddigan Roundabout was opened, or well, the bypass, the bypass to the roundabout. The Haddigan Roundabout is a significant feature, but it's, it's still going to always be busy with traffic. Traffic is a new age, lots of traffic. It creates noise as well. You've got to remember there wasn't so many cars on the road. That is the key point, the key standout point to remember. Actually, canals did move goods. There's a canal at Port, Port Elphinstone, near Inverurie. It moved goods to Aberdeen. That is also significant to mention when we're discussing the stream. It's Saturday, the 21st of May, 2022, just after 2pm, around quarter past. What I can't understand is why there's so many cars at the Kingsford practice pitches. No one playing. That's changing rooms. Changing rooms? Why do they need so many cars? Well, they are playing. They are playing, actually. I didn't immediately notice. It's the, the, in orange. Far off. No, they are playing. They're playing on the far away pitch. That's why I didn't immediately notice. I mean, you've got to look for the detail. They are playing. So who's playing? If they're professional footballers, you can understand the cars. But if it's teenagers, it doesn't really justify the cars because I can't see anyone spectating.
Anyway, here there's something been going on. This is the site where the local residents by Kingsford actually have been doing bonfires for 20 years. And it looks like they're still doing it. That's why we have this rubble. Stubs of branches or trees. That's the site where they do bonfires. It's not exactly, I mean, global warming might be happening, but this is May 2022. It's spring, approaching summer. It's not exactly warm. This is not Australian summer heat. It's not exactly warm, but it's not exactly cold either. It's not Siberia, Russia weather, which can be cold in winter. It's not warm or cold. It's just a nice temperature. Actually, summers where it's 30, 40 degrees can be stuffy, made worse by congestion. I mean, when it's really hot, it can make people annoyed. Always worth considering. This video is just three minutes. It's just short. The sun is actually coming through the clouds. It's getting warmer. When the sun comes out and beats down, it is warmer. I mean, you've got to go into cloud cover. The sun is coming out. But look, it's overcast too. So you need to point the camera up, up at the clouds. You can see, I'm not going to shoot the video at the sun, but this, there is quite a lot of cloud, cloud cover. Cloud cover measured in octets. That's geography for you. I mean, this is why he studies at school. It's because geography is all around you. Geology is the study of rocks. This is why you study geography. I mean, geography also considers farming and agriculture and land masses. Geographical formations, corgis, that's geography, in the realm of geography. Approaching five minutes, when you keep talking the video becomes more engaging, but there's no motion, so it's not actually that engaging. You need motion, mobile cameras, a narrative, that's what makes it engaging. The BBC usually add music to add drama. Music really does make videos a lot more in engaging, pleasant to watch. That's the rule for orchestras. And there's the BBC Symphony Orchestra. They're all significant points. Anyway, there is a football match going on or a practice session, people in orange playing football on the faraway pitch. Hazelhead Park, Aberdeen. 21st of May, 2022. Mid-afternoon, after 3 p.m. Bird singing.
Hazelhead Park, Saturday, mid-afternoon, 21st of May, 2022. Someone can't control their dog. Dog barking. People do like going to parks. See the flowers, the plants. What are their names? There's no signs telling you the names of plants. I guess you've got to take a photo. But with Google uploading images to Google, Google Image Search, it doesn't support auto detection of visual data matching peering to names of plants. It's a problem. So you don't know the names of plants. I mean, this is a problem. Problem solving. Why hasn't Google done it yet? They're a bit behind. Artificial intelligence? There's a need for human intelligence. Also. Human intelligence also. You don't know the names of the plants. You don't know the names of them. After six o'clock in the morning, that's an ambulance. After six o'clock in the morning, early morning, people are on the move. It's spring. May, 2022. Early morning, it's daylight. It's not dark. Cyclist sails across the road. No need for the pedestrian crossing. I don't know why this pedestrian crossing was erected actually. Because usually, because of the traffic island, you can get across the road without pushing the button. Traffic islands, they help older people that are more frail and vulnerable, giving them an island. Island nations can provide life, but they're mostly volcanic. Many new islands have been formed. Some islands disappear underwater, but new ones are formed by volcanic means. That's life. Living on a volcanic island, that's dangerous. Volcanic eruptions, ash destroyed Pompeii, the village of Pompeii from Mount Vesuvius when it erupted. Islands, but islands, traffic islands, give older people that are slower 
a chance to cross wider roads, a chance to stop in the middle, islands, land masses, islands in Aberdeen, traffic islands provide greater safety. This video is on traffic islands and volcanic islands. Towards the end of May 2022, the sun is out. This is the den of Maiden Craig, deep in the den of Maiden Craig, down the rocky path that has rocks on it, a nago path. Difficult to get down it with a bike, but still, once you're down, deep in the den of Maiden Craig, you can see there are fallen trees. This is the end of May 2022, still fallen trees from Storm Arwen on the 26th of November 2021. And it is actually windy today. A nice day, breezy, sun shining. Towards the end of May 2022, green canopies on the trees, lush green. The edge of Aberdeen, the edge of Hazel Head, by Aberdeen Crematorium, the Den of Maiden Creek. Running water, a stream flowing through the Den of Maiden Creek, deep in the Den of Maiden Creek. This is a quaint stream. Running water, path along by the stream, a path. Is this the den burn? Does it run? It does run through part of the den of Maiden Creek. This is the western part of the den of Maiden Creek by Skeen Road down the rocky path. This is the 26th of May 2022. This is the Den of Maiden Creek down by the stream. This is along by the stream. This is really where the path goes. It, the, it really ends here. Ends where the trees come down. Is this the impact of Storm Arwen on the 26th of November 2021? Or was this tree here before then? It might have come down in November 2021. Storm Arwen was devastating. A devastating storm, a once in a generation event, a once in a 25 year event. It's a nice quaint scene here. A shallow, calm, gently flowing stream through the Den of Maiden Creek. This is the Den Burn. The Den Burn. Actually, it's quite a spectacular sight. This standing here next to this fallen tree across the stream. No one's really going to clear it. It's a shame, but it's also spectacular. I guess that's why Sir David Attenborough gets blown away by melting glaciers. 
no glaciers here. It's spring. 26th of May, 2022. I've never before seen midges in Aberdeen. Are these midges in Aberdeen at the Den of Maiden Creek, 26th of May, 2022? Look, there's something coming off the stream, flying in the air, beasties. Is it midges? Midges are often a common sight on the west coast of Scotland, but it seems midges like water are rising out of the steam, out of the stream. Did I say steam? I meant stream. Steam and stream. Steam does rise. Look. Is this midges? At the Denburn. The Denburn Aberdeen. At the Den of Maiden Creek. The midge. Midges? I've never seen them before. They've never bothered me, not in the northeast of Scotland, around Aberdeen. But come deep into the Denburn and you see midges. They're still not bothering me. Are these midges? They're just flying, hovering above the stream of water, the trickle of water, the slow trickle of water, which is the Denburn flowing through Aberdeen. This is nature. Just look back. Is this a water pipeline over the stream? It seems to end. Or is it a World War II bomb? Unexploded. What is it? In the Den of Maiden Creek, along with the Denburn. This isn't a World War II bomb. I thought it was a, a water pipeline. Maybe it's a gas pipeline. What is it? It looks... Nazi symbol on it. Nazi Germany. Take a closer look. It's obviously l l laid here for some time, since the Second World War. Who knows about it? The woman who does the garden here took her bucket and spade, put it on the front of a mobility scooter.
the woman was digging here. She's been turning over topsoil. I mean, mobility scooters enable the less mobile to do gardening in allotments to get to places, places on the outside of King's Wells by the cycle path along from the four mile restaurant. Gardening can be therapeutic for those with disabilities. And there is the Gardening for Disabled Trust. That woman could also walk. She got out of her mobility scooter, but maybe she can't walk far. I mean, for people with health complaints and older people, mobility scooters enable greater independence enable them to have a fulfilling life. It's always worthwhile doing the garden here. It cheers up passers-by, those that embrace active travel, walk and cycle from Kingswells to Aberdeen. And it appears the person that does the gardening is disabled in a sense or with health issues. We all need to be considerate because those that are disabled can do jobs that brighten their lives and help others. The world is interconnected that mobility scooter went, went at fair speed. It sped along the cycle path back to King's Wells, to a home in King's Wells. That woman was done for the day, done digging. Thirty first of May twenty twenty two. This is supposed to be a drainage pond, detention basin. 
This pond has been designed to drain and treat surface water from this development. Water levels within the pond. What pond? Range from 0 0.1 meter deep normal conditions to 2 meter deep following significant rainfall. Well this is the end of May, almost summer. There's no water. Is this global warming? Is this what it's going to be like in the years and decades ahead? A toddler proof fence, shallow gradients adjacent and within the water edge, minimising the depth of water. Appropriate planting at the water edge to restrict access and the aspect of the pond in that it is overlooked by nearby houses. Path here. People often just cycle past this bit. No benches. A bench here would be quite nice. It obviously gets the heat. No water in the pond. An assessment of potential risks to the community associated with the pond have formed part of the design and reasonable measures have been incorporated to minimise the risks. Reasonable measures, a toddler proof fence, that's this one. Is that a gate? Got hinges. Ensuing shallow gradients adjacent and within the water edge. Who's the water? Minimising the depth of water. It's a drainage pond. Birds singing. Nice day. New trees here. They're coming on nicely. Hmm. 